Hey everybody, it's your buddy KR here. Good buddy old Tom Lance, the uh, founder and the Mr. All of All of Pro Wrestling in the state of Texas right now. Owner of SWE Fury, Tom. Thank you for letting us come to the office today and visit with you a little bit, so. Hey, I'm glad to have you. Yeah. Well, I don't know about the B.O.B. of All B, but thank you anyways. Well, I've been to your show. I've seen you clean toilets. I've seen you promote the event. You do it all. That's kind of <laughs> what I get to do at the racetrack, too. So it's, yeah. you know, it's one of them deals. There's so much going on. You just got to do everything. But the time I want to stop here, you know, obviously, uh, we've been partnering the last few years with our SmackDown Battle World that benefits Parker Lee Project. You guys have been a huge supporter in that um, with SWE Fury. But but I kind of want to turn the page a little bit, and I only thank you for that. But like, I want our folks at home to kind of know a little bit about your background. Like, I've got I've got the opportunity to get to know you and learn yeah. about you. But kind of take us back to where professional wrestling entered your life, and kind of how it's brought it to where you're at today. I got into business when I was about 16, 17 years old. I grew up a wrestling fan, like most people in the business, whether they want to admit it or not. We all start off fans. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, when I was about 15, 16, I told my dad that. Hey, I think I want to be a wrestler. So he took me to Doug's gym in downtown Dallas. And there was a school there. Uh, a man named Skandar Akbar, who a lot of people probably know of, was running the school. Met him. One thing led to another. I realized, man, this is a little bit tougher than I thought. <laughs> I learned the promotion side of it. And next thing you know, uh, instead of actually wrestling, I started promoting. I did my first show when I was 19 at the Oil Palace in Tyler, Texas. We kind of went from there. I met a guy named Gentleman Chris Adams. We started a promotion called l &A Promotions and we started running shows and we had a little school back then and I talked him into starting and uh, some people might be familiar with one of the students. His name was Steve Williams. He became Stone Cold Steve Austin. A Couple of people have heard of him. And then throughout the years, just I've had superstars of wrestling that I did with Akbar. I had a wrestling school for about 12 or 15 years and Worked with most everybody, you know, from Roddy Piper to, of course, I did a whole lot with the Von Erics and things like that, teamed up with Kevin, and I got out of the business. And then a few years ago, a buddy of mine in Emory, Texas, I'm gonna give him a shout out, Jenkins Franklin. He talked me into doing a show over in Sulphur Springs. And I said, we need a name of a company. So we come up with SWE. I did a show, I thought I was done. Uh, next thing you know, uh, I met Jason Jarrett, who's not only become a partner, but a real good friend. And he wanted to do some stuff and he, we're like, hey, let's do a pilot. And so we did a TV pilot, probably a year and a half ago now, two years over in Canton, got James Beard involved, who's one, we go back so far, he's a, a brilliant mind in the business. I wouldn't do it without him. We did the pilot. Next thing you know, a, a station reached out to us and said, hey, we'd like to put y'all on. And it is snowballed from there. You know, I, I know I kind of made that short, but I know we don't have all day, but now we're across the country. We're actually viewed around the world. We're on CW channels and the Action Channel and Fight. And lo and behold, it's kind of taken off like a juggernaut. You know, you know, Teddy Long is now our general manager who pinched myself. Uh, it's hard to believe, and we've got Kevin Sullivan now who's helping us, Road Warrior Animal. Uh, God bless him, was helping us, and he recently passed, which, which was a huge loss for us. And, and just this week, we announced somebody that, even a couple of days later, I still can't believe is coming on board with us, uh, a legend, you know, Terry Funk. And he's not just coming on to do appearances and stuff, he really wants to help us build this thing. And also somebody I meant to throw in too, because he's really gonna be helping us. And, and that's the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. I cannot forget him because he's really uh, been a blessing to come on board. I still can't believe it. So I didn't want to forget that. But our goal is to take wrestling back to wrestling. Well, that's so. one thing I'll say. I, I grew up a wrestling fan. I know we've talked, or I call it wrestling. I know it's wrestling, but I call it wrestling. But, you know, big Von Eric Freebird, the great Kabuki, Bruiser Brody, all those guys, Sportatorium. That's kind of what I grew yeah, up doing yeah. and, and knowing. And, 
And this has been fun for me, the partnership, because it's kind of got me a chance to go back to being a 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I saw the announcement on Terry Funk, I was just like, I was kind of pinching myself too, because like, he's got to be one of the toughest men to walk the face of the earth. Like, that dude is a bad, bad man. And, and uh, in Amarillo, Texas, you know, just kind yep. of the, the, the state of Texas. And, and I've enjoyed watching what y'all are doing because, like, to me, it's a cool story. And, folks, this is what I've learned from these guys is like, have big dreams and then follow through. And it's amazing what'll happen, you know, because. Your story about you taking a break and then getting coached back into it a little bit. Now look, we're right on national TV. You're seen all over the world. You're streaming on several different providers. And you're bringing in national known talent. I mean, every time I see one of your flyers, I'm like, well, I know all these people, you know. And, and what I really impressed with, you've taken local talent and given them a platform to get their names and to, to do some stuff. So kind of on that side of it, how does it feel to work with kind of the legends of the sport and the up-and-comers? I mean, there's got to be a balance there, and there's got to be a reward on both sides from your side, I would think. Man, I want to make sure uh, people understand that I might have found it and been doing this forever, but this ain't me. Yeah. This is everybody that I've been fortunate enough to surround myself with. Uh, ever, it takes a team, as you know. Sure. And so I just want to make sure that we made that clear that everybody, it's taken everybody a lot of hard work. I learned years ago, the, the harder you work, the luckier you get. <laughs> and it's kind of worked out that way. And so um, it's just been great seeing the younger talent come up and letting these legends be mentors to them. Mm -hmm. And because this is their history, this is their life. They want to see it continue too, and and that's really what our goal is, uh, is hopefully we can build something here that goes on way past any of us. Um, I mean, Terry Funk is, we're, we're, we're about Texas wrestling. Yeah. It doesn't get any more Texas than that. <laughs> You're 100%. And so, uh, man, it, it's just, it's again, it's that old saying, it's we, not me. Yeah. And man, we're stoked to be Quite frankly, KR partners with y'all. I mean, let's don't forget, back when we first started, you actually, you know, took a hit. You know, you were involved, so I want people to know he's I being think, a little modest, but he has. Folks, I took a, a cricket bat to the back from old Nigel Rabbit. Now, I still owe him one. Like, it's funny when I show up to your shows now, it seems like he kind of stays distant. So I just want to go on record. Nigel, put you on blast. I, I, you still got one coming. Yeah, got you. I don't know when it's happening, but you still got one coming. But, you know, it, it's been a great partnership for us. You know, we share a lot of common fans. You know, we, we'd go to your shows and see a lot of our fans in the front row. Yeah. Vice versa. But, you know, the first year we did this, you brought out Tim Storm, Action Jackson, a bunch of Miranda Gordy came out. Yeah. interacted with the fans, did a meet and greet. People loved it. Uh, Mr. Storm dropped the first green flag. So it was kind of... For me, as a, as a race fan and a wrestling fan, it was a cool collaboration. But gotcha. what really did for me is I got to see the social media side of it and seeing a lot of our crowd interacting. And I thought, man, we're, we're on to something there. So, man, we, we thank you guys for the partnership and the, the opportunity to cross promote and stuff. So, well, Tom, I know we've been talking a lot today. A lot of cool stories, a lot of background from you and SW Fury. But I know you got a big event coming up uh, in the month of February. Kind of tell us a little bit about where it's going to be and kind of some of the talent on the card. Well, we actually have a couple in February. Saturday, February the 6th, we're in Irving, Texas at the Southern Junction Event Center. It's gonna be a TV taping, great show. We're also gonna do a meet and greet prior. That's a little separate event. And Mark Henry and Teddy Long, Kevin Sullivan from ECW, just incredible. I could go on and on. Then we got February 27th coming up in Carthage, Texas. It's gonna be a huge event. It's East Texas WrestleFest. And still nobody today around the world believes it, but Terry Funk's gonna be there. And then everybody I just listed along with Melina. But the best place to really find out what's going on with SWE Fury, because I always forget someone, and my phone will ring, as you know probably how that goes. Yes, sir. I would just visit swefury.com. That's it. It has our shows where you can see us on TV, the YouTube stuff, and then I don't forget anyone. But we're, we're excited, it's gonna be fun. It'll be the biggest two events this year, I'm, I'm willing to bet in the state. Uh, TV tapings, we like when people come out because we're shooting national TV. Sure. You know what I mean? You could be seen, it's a lot of fun, it's exciting. And so if they'll just visit swfury.com, that would be the best way to find out. And what's cool about the month of February, folks, is they bookmark our sixth annual SmackDown that these guys are the presenting sponsor for, fifth annual Battle Royal, the Benefits Parker Lee Project, and the fourth annual King of the Ring. So that'll take place February 11th, 12th, 13th. So 
My calendar looks good for the month of February. I'm going to be in Irving. I'll be down at the RPM Speedway, Texas, and I'm going to be over at Carthage because I'm not going to miss Terry Funk. You know, I'm so you're going to make Funk. that drive? I'm going to make that drive the month of... February's a month of love, heck, you know, but we're yeah. going to have the month of entertainment, live entertainment, best quality entertainment you can find right here. SWE Fury and RPM Speedway back together again in 2021. Check them out, support what they're doing, and we'll see you at the races.